Hi, I'm Josh Richards. I'm a hand surgeon in Oakland, California. Today I'm going to talk to you about what to expect after phalanx fractures. Uh, phalanxes uh, are the bones in your fingers, so the metacarpals are in your hand, and then the phalanx are the three small bones in the fingers. Uh, all are a little bit different, uh, but the fractures happen commonly. Uh, oftentimes jamming your finger or getting it twisted uh, can happen uh, pretty easily. Sometimes they're not as painful as you'd think, and they, they are broken, but uh, it takes some people some time to get in there to get it checked out. The most important part of a, uh, is seeing a good hand surgeon that can determine whether this is a stable injury, whether it needs to be fixed, and then how it needs to be immobilized, as well as when early motion can be started. One of the biggest problems with finger fractures is getting motion back. It can be very difficult, and it can be painful. So the goal of the surgeon is to determine how stable it is and decide when you can start moving it and how aggressively as well. So a minimally displaced or even non-displaced phalanx fracture often can just be buddy taped and aggressive motion can start early with a uh, good follow-up. Uh, typically we're going to see these types of fractures each week for the first three weeks so that we can make sure the bone isn't displacing on an x-ray as well as make sure that uh, you're getting your motion back. Uh, as far as getting your motion back, it does hurt. This is not easy to get your motion back because it gets stiff and it's painful to work through motion. So it's important to talk to your hand surgeon about how stable it is and how aggressive you can be to get your motion back. The average time to healing is about six weeks for a phalangeal fracture. So you're out of sports, no lifting, pushing, pulling for two to, over two to three pounds. Um, as far as casting, splinting, and surgery, well, those are all discussions with your surgeon. Some of these fractures do need to be fixed. Uh, if it's significantly displaced or mal-rotated, uh, these small little plates can be used, uh, which render it very stable, and you can start very aggressive motion. If you have surgery like this, you would need therapy right away to get started. Sometimes we use K-wires, which are small little tiny nails. Uh, typically that's going to be casted and early motion would not be started. Uh, usually it's about four weeks in a cast, take the pins out and then start therapy at that point. Occasionally um, uh, surgery and immobilization is necessary but that's more uh, the rare side. Usually by six weeks you're moving okay, uh, depends on if you are locked up for four weeks or not. Uh, if you've been just buddy taped by six weeks usually you're moving pretty well. The swelling around the digits, however, will last a long time. So these knuckle joints, the PIP joints, they'll stay still swollen for three to six months, sometimes longer. Um, but usually by three months, you have almost all your motion back and are doing really well. Uh, just a little bit sore and a little bit swollen. It can take as long as an entire year before a ring will fit on that finger again. So if it's your actual ring finger on your left side, uh, I tell people don't get the ring resized. It'll fit again in a year, but you can get a less expensive one uh, at a bigger size as a temporary ring. So overall, just to review, uh, you need a good hand surgeon, so find your local hand surgeon to assess whether it's stable and if it needs surgery. Uh, if it doesn't need surgery, to discuss the plan at, on an emphasis of getting your motion back as quickly as possible. And it generally takes about six weeks to heal, but again, that's an average. And then uh, usually by three months you're feeling really good and can return to really any activity with some very slight soreness, very slight swelling. Thank you.